We can think of security in layers and focus on granting always the least access necessary for any job or role, thus blocking unnecessary access at the earliest possible opportunity. In this video series, we'll discuss how to limit access to the database and how to secure your data. When applying Postgres security features to the AAA framework, which stands for authentication, authorization, and auditing, step one is authentication. That means verifying that the user is who he or she claims to be. The PostgreSQL host-based authentication file, or also called hpa.conf, restricts access based on the username, on the database, and on the source IP, if the user is connecting via TCP IP. Authentication methods are assigned in this file as well. The method or the methods that you choose depend on your use case. Methods include, on one side, Kerberos GSS API, SSPI, LDAP and RADIUS, CERT, MD5, SCRAM, REJECT, and TRUST. It is really important that you have a full understanding of the ramification of each authentication method. To learn more about these methods, download our white paper, Security Best Practices for PostgreSQL. And then stay tuned for the next episode where we'll discuss securing password profiles. Use Postgres, get stuff done.